McGowan. It's well played by McGowan. Stewart. Tankilic. Well marshaled by Van Dyke and it draws the first corner of the match and it goes to the D's. It's Conrad and Clarkson, two Dundee players who were on the score sheet against Aberdeen in the last round. We don't feature today. Certainly from the start with Clarkson on the bench. Back in by Jim McAllister, taken down on the chest and away by Lustig. Not what he intended though. Dundee were appealing for a penalty kick from the corner that came in. It was Johansson with the bar to James McPeak that Paul Hartley was adamant was a sport kick. McGowan, straight to ground. He's a giri. Beat on. There's space here for Luce to give him get on to it. She has done. There's Griffiths! Oh, it's wonderful! Wonderful play from Celtic! And Lee Griffiths scores against his old club! As he did early on in the League Cup semi-final. Celtic strike an early blow, and it comes from the head of Lee Griffiths. Such a good career here at Dens Park. The Dundee fans have seen that time and time again from him. He's doing it more and more in the green and white of Celtic these days. Great ball in by Lustig. It was tempting and tantalising for Griffiths. And Celtic are one up. Here's the new boys. Mackay Stephen and Armstrong. They would have loved to feature today, but both played for Dundee United against Motherwell in round four. It's a watching brief for them. Irvin. The shot the man on. He slipped a little as well as James Forrest applied the pressure. Johansson can play him through here. Forrest will fancy this himself. Good save, Bain. Then nicked away by McPake. Still alive as Johansson goes for goal. It's blocked. And Dundee breathe again, but only just. Oh, a real sigh of relief from Gary Irvin there as Celtic couldn't take advantage of the situation that was presented to them. Griffiths on the rebound just appeared to delay and wait for it to reach him. For Scott Bain was a hero against Aberdeen in the last round with a wonder save right at the end of the game. And he had to look lively here as James Forrest went for the far corner. Ronnie Dyla frustrated. 25 minutes in. Plenty of movement in there for Dundee. It's away by Denier. Pick made by Van Dyke. What a wonderful effort! Really good hit. Well, the Bulgarian Kostadin Ganjalov showing he is plenty power in that right foot as he went with the volley. Got loads behind that. Commons first time for Johansson. He's got Griffiths. In the middle, Commons getting there too. Here is Chris Commons, finds Griffiths. Great touch from Griffiths, great save by Bain. Well, Celtic threatening a second goal, and that was terrific build up play. Commons finding Griffiths, it's a wonderful touch get away from his former teammate James McPeak. And the combination block, the defender and the goalkeeper. James McPeak's a dodgy bounce for him to deal with, and Stefan Johansson can make it to it. Bain again. That's two saves from Johansson. Dundee can't clear. He came back off Dyer. Griffiths. And Dyer just puts his laces through it. Well, as much as Dundee have settled into the game, they've had Scott Bain to thank for the fact that the scoreline remains just 1 0. That could have been two. Final minute of the first half. Tankilic has given Jason Denier as hard an afternoon as he's had since arriving in Scottish football as Paul McGowan almost found himself in and Craig Gordon had to throw himself to his right. Well, expertly done by Craig Gordon, who's been brilliant. 
for Celtic since arriving. Paul McGowan actually came off Van Dyke and Gordon had to make the save. And they've shown enough to suggest that this tie is far from over. Until Lee Griffiths can find himself in situations like that one. Just seemed a little bit too easy for Celtic to cut through Dundee here. One ball from Van Dyke found Griffiths on the volley. He's got a wonderful left foot, Lee Griffiths, and you would not have put it past him to rip the net open with that. These, of course, famously beat Celtic 1 0 to lift the League Cup in 1973 when Gordon Wallace's goal was enough for David White's D's to beat Jock Steen's side. Their third and to date last major cup victory. If they are to make an impression on this year's Scottish Cup, they will have to come from behind against the tournament favourites. Flicked away by Dyer. Celtic began the match strongly. They're trying to start the second half equally so. Lee Griffiths with the header, saved by Bain, but tucked in! And that could be game over! No flag to save Dundee as Stefan Johansson touches home number two! A punchy start to the second half! Ronnie Dyla knows Celtic are so close to the quarter-finals now. It was a wonderful save from Scott Bain from the initial header by Lee Griffiths. When this ball came in, Griffiths clearly onside, and his header caused Bain problems. Bain, though, couldn't get it wide enough, and Johansson tucks it home. Celtic with more than one foot in the last eight now, you feel. Goal number six of the season for Ronnie Dylas, Chief Lieutenant Stefan Johansson. They were together at Strimskotsa in Norway. They are together again, and Celtic are two to the good. That's a lovely play by Stokes, he's going to get it back on Isa Aguirre. That was superb football. Stokes goes down, the ball had gone there, and the referee's gone to his pocket and boots Stokes for diving. John Beaton had made his mind up as soon as Stokes went down here. It was a lovely play between he and Izagiri out there. He ran into McPake, the Irishman. I'm not sure he was looking for it, to be honest. He's run into James McPake. It's not a foul. The ball had gone as well. Forrest. Brown. Johansson. Outside of the boots, very good. Very useful from Johansson, and it called Bain into action. And it's called Bain again. Former Aberdeen youth player, didn't get a chance at Petaudry. He's taking full advantage here, the 23-year-old, and this was touched right onto the post there by Bain. Here comes Celtic with Johansson, and Vedetti wants it. It's Lee Griffiths. And slices it. John Vedetti looked as though he was in. Wonderful space here, Stefan Johansson decided to move it to Griffiths.